picture day. I have zero clue what I'm going to wear. I got home super late last night, so I really don't have a clue what I'm about to wear. I don't know when we're going either to take these pictures, so I really do have to hurry up. Okay, so I'm back, y'all. I found this shirt. Excuse my dog. She's crying because my family's leaving. But um, I got this this shirt. But um, I was thinking about wearing this. But it's a kind of a big shirt. So I don't think that I might end up wearing this. Genuinely cannot find nothing else. Ooh. This is my alarm to wake me up, y'all, at 8.33. So I'm already earlier than i expected but i'm gonna have to figure it out but i guess i'm gonna get back to y'all when i figure it out because i'm still struggling about what i'm about to wear so i couldn't find another shirt to wear i'm looking like all over all my clean clothes and for whatever reason i can't really find anything to wear so i think i might end up wearing this shirt so buy these for the longest time y'all so we're gonna try out these ink box tattoos also y'all i'm missing a few nails i'm gonna put them back on these are okay hey guys i'm back so i got this ink box tattoo so we're about to open them up I just got the shower. I actually changed my outfit. So now I'm going to be wearing this uh, San Francisco Snapback 49ers cap. Um, these pants that I thrifted. Hat for my dad. The shirt. I don't know where I got this shirt from, y'all. I'll put the shirt on the screen where I got it from because I honestly don't remember. For 60 minutes. So, y'all, I'm back. I got my lips on. I got my... Um, hat on i got everything on i just need to put some socks on but i gotta find something that match because i'm about to wear my easy slides today um and then i'm about to put this other lip lipstick on and i'm about to see if it looks cute or not i take the tattoos off in eight minutes my eyes a little irritated at the bottom on the left because i was trying so hard to get that glue off it was not budging let's see if i can find the jacket in my closet Okay. We're gonna go to a mirror. I'm gonna get my feet. You think so? I should get a different one? You making me really not want to get it. Okay, I'm gonna hope that my camera doesn't overheat because it's really hot outside. It's now 147 and it's 70 degrees and I'm really hot. I'm super hot in this car, even though that we were talking about. But I did record the stuff that I did wanna record, like me getting my picture taken and me getting, me going into the store a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the store. I only got two things from the store. The store is super expensive. But I ended up getting this Oakland University hoodie. It's super cute. I don't know if I'm going to wear this on the first day. I might or might not. If I can't get the outfit that I want for the first day, then this was kind of like my big plans. So I'm super excited that everything turned out like good for the most part. Because the first time that I went, everything turned out so bad. Like everything did not go as planned. Like everything. That's pretty much the end of this video for the first part. 
not gonna be doing anything else school related right now we go school shopping so it's gonna be a separate video like my haul back to school what i got but i just want to show you guys me on campus because that is something i really wanted to record that i didn't get the chance to record the first time so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll be back another time when i do my more school related stuff and then here's the tattoos they still have quite a bit of time to develop but this is one of them i don't know if y'all see it okay y'all can see it and then here's the butterfly i mean not the butterfly the bird so i'm just waiting for them to develop but i could do that for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video i'm gonna insert some fit pics and things like that little memories from me going today Hi guys, I'm back. So, what what day is today? Hold on. So today is August 29th. It's 5:33 right now. Um, I just got my school supplies like yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So here's my book bag. So we're just gonna hop right into what I got and what's gonna be in my book bag. Context: I'm starting my freshman year of college at 16 years old. So I was kind of nervous. I didn't really know what to bring, but first thing I got was this pencil case. It looks so cute. I didn't take this off of it yet. I just left it on. But what's in the first pocket is like pencils and pens. So I have like blue pens and red pens in here. And then I have like a lot of old mechanical pencils that I already had. I didn't really get like a, a bunch of new pencils or anything. I got um, mostly the same stuff that I had already had. But these are just pens and pencils that are super reliable for me. And they work and they get the job done. So that's what's in the front pocket. The pocket, I got some pens, really, and one highlighter. So I just have, again, some really good reliable pens for me. And then this is the new one. They look really fancy. So that's why I wanted to get them. I don't think I'm going to need that much since I'm going to be using my iPad this year. I'm going to be taking notes on here. So I don't really think that that's going to be too much of an issue. But we'll see. And then I have a second academic planner, which you guys will see the first one. This one's going to be my backup one. This one's probably going to be the one that I put, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use this one for yet because I already have a planner. I got one from the store, which you guys are about to see. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this one, but it's in here just in case I need it. This small pocket right here that goes right here, it's not super deep or anything. It it just has these band-aids that I got from Dollar Tree in it, and they have sayings and quotes and things on them. It says hashtag love on it, and it comes in this little case. So I just got this in my book bag because since I'm going to be commuting to campus, I'm not going to know everything that I'm going to need to bring for school. Like, everyone who lives on campus, they could just run to their dorm. But, you know, it will be anything. So, I just got these band-aids just in case. And now I'll probably end up putting more stuff inside of this middle pouch. But as of right now, it's not too much in there. And on to the bigger part of the book bag, which is, like, the main stuff. Uh, this might be some stuff that you guys had already seen from my uh, previous junior season video. Where I was showing everything that I had got for school. A lot of that stuff, since I ended up becoming homeschooled, didn't end up getting used or it was used very little to the point where I can use it again. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of that stuff for my freshman year. So I got this notebook. It's super cute, it's uh, blue and brown coated. And it's, I think this is, oh, it's a composition book. It's not college rule. I was about to say, I thought it was college rule. Oh, it is college rule. So this is my notebook that's probably gonna be for English. I got this notebook. This one's a new notebook. It's kind of following the same theme but not really but kind of y'all get what i mean this one might be my math notebook which this one might end up being my intro to psych and that one might end up being my math notebook but this is what this one looks like sorry if the lighting's bad i don't know why the sun isn't shining like it's supposed to but i got these we have three notebooks in here but i do have more notebooks sitting in my closet just in case i need them and then I have some college ruled 
filler paper so i haven't put this inside of my binder yet because one of my favorite parts which i think i'm about to end up using this today it's a, it says you can do hard things and it has coloring pages in here um and you can track your hydration your meals and your fitness in here so it's kind of like a personal planner but you can also use it for like academic as well so that's why i was saying i'm probably going to end up using this one the most and that one's just going to be my backup but i love this planner so much it's so cute and i feel like it's going to be really helpful for my mental health for the year i got this binder so this binder was already in my previous video so if you guys didn't see that make sure y'all click up here and go watch that um so I'm not sure how often I'm going to use this binder, but I did bring it just in case because I probably will need a binder. And then in here I have some organizers where I can organize my papers for my different classes and like syllabuses or things I need to turn in, put it in here. It's kind of like one big folder, but there's dividers. So I'm probably end up going to use this and dirty, but I got my uh, computer keeper. So I'm going to lock my computer up in here make sure it don't get hurt or stolen or something. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like that would be very helpful. And I'll probably end up putting my iPad in here, too. So, they'll probably just end up sharing that. And then, in here, I have some graph paper because I'll probably end up needing that. If I don't need it for my math class, then I'll probably end up using it to take notes, like, for my regular classes. In here... I have a few folders i'm not sure which ones are new and which ones i've already had like this one i know this one was from my uh this one's not new and then i got this one it looks really abstract and cute but it's also very simple and this one back here which has flowers on it so i'm gonna try my best to match the theme to the notebooks that i already had and make that one the subject so that's what i got um in here in my binder that i have for school right now i start school in a week so i think i'm pretty prepared i think i have everything that i need so i'm excited so that's what's in my book bag for my freshman year in college and then i got this bag here to bring on campus from target so thank you guys for watching the real end if you made it to the real end of the video comment uh red heart for i heart new york which is a shirt i got from my other vlog which made sure you go watch that one too um i have a lot more sit down content coming i know that you guys are probably like you didn't really talk that much in the video and i know i'm so sorry it was so much going on like I could I got lost so many times and then we were talking about like my financial stuff when we were meeting up so it wasn't too much of that stuff that I could record but I just hope you guys can sit on this until the school content start coming because when the school content start coming y'all better be ready for that I'm gonna film my first day of school as best as I can because it's gonna be so chaotic so I'm just hope that I get as much content as I possibly can for y'all and this is the real end of the video so tell me what was your favorite thing that I got from school what was your favorite thing that you saw that I got from the school um, when I went school shopping? And, yep, stay active on my social media because I post videos spontaneously whenever I want to. I don't make a schedule to see next. I've been wanting to do more Sunday routine videos, cleaning videos, school videos, fashion videos, clothes videos, skincare videos. So, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'm going to act accordingly today but thank you guys for watching so much i'm gonna just get if i don't already have so i'm gonna update y'all if i ended up getting anything new but school starts in a week i don't think i will i don't know what i'm gonna wear for the first day um the hoodie that y'all saw like towards the end of the video that might be the hoodie that i end up wearing for school somebody stole my wallet so i hope they doing good with my money but yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all yeah